going on everybody welcome back we're out here back at it again fishing trying to make it happen today is going to be more of a kind of looking around day just going to get some pit fish i didn't even bring a bucket to be honest like i brought my three poles i wasn't even going to bring any but then i decided i might as well just in case you know so i brought one some wire in case if i see any mackerel um i brought my tarpon rod with me and then you know ultra light rod in case you want to play with uh you know some of the paddle tails and whatnot but you know we're just anchored in one of the finger channels here um coming off of called the channel back over here and it kind of winds in in between two flats it just kind of winds in i found this nice little pocket here there's a couple porpoises over there just hunting um don't know if you can see them right at my finger don't know if you can see them but that's what brought me over here was i was just running through the channel i made it all the way at the end and then i see this big fin you know from a distance i didn't i thought it was just a big shark at first you know it was so far away i'm like i gotta go see the shark you know because at that point when you see a fin that big i was like you know it's one foot of water i gotta go see the small one eyes you know and then i'm getting closer i'm like ah it's a, it's a porpoise but nonetheless beautiful they're hunting in about you know foot and a half you know two feet of water so it's uh they're you know they're having a blast um if they make it closer i'll uh i'll turn around and show you but um just got the chum out right now got some bait say some little snappers but again we're not really going for snapper i might take one or two home for dinner just throwing this down here to get some pinfish all right let's see if we can get some bait just a couple pinfish two or three um all right let me get some bait guys and then we'll see if we could uh i'm gonna work around here too before i cut the introduction and the reason why is that's all the flats there so you really can't go over there you can like where the dolphins are playing those porpoises are at but here's one channel here and it breaks you got flat again you got the channel markers there right so it kind of splits off you can't go through here um it's just harder to see and then right here i don't know 30 40 yards from me is where that flat cutoff is right and then it kind of curves here flat here as well and then you have a really small window there to make it back into the channel but i'm looking around i'm seeing like darker patches out too so maybe we might venture off and see because you yeah, remember all the the fish are going to be coming in that way you know from the gulf side too they're going to be running up and down depending on the tide and these are great areas for them to come through just deeper pockets deeper channels where they come out of you see and this is a major highway for these fish so i know we talked about it um last year last the end of last season and i said you know what i'm going to come check this out in tarpon season and I remembered that, and this is kind of where it was. I was actually anchored right at the edge, way over there, um, and I did not see this all the way through. So now I'm here, and I'm gonna check it out, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try it now. I don't know how long I'm gonna, I'm gonna be investigating this. Uh, I might stay. Who knows? I might even see if sundown. I don't know. We're gonna see what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna check it out now and see um what i do see just kind of just sit here you know just look at the waters i kind of got an idea too of what i want to start doing um i want to start i'm going to start logging i'm going to start logging pretty much everything you know um just because you know i take this serious you know and for me i don't want to just play off a of memory and where i know my memory is good it doesn't fail me um i can't catch the little nuances right so I brought a pen and paper with me and I'm just gonna log like the time the date the tide the moon you know and uh, the tide and just so we could you know mimic it whenever it comes around again because it's behavior right and this is something I thought about recently I said fish you know fish it's all behavior and patterns you know and tides and winds and bait um, and if we could mimic it or if we're in an area that way hey, you know i was there on last year or on a tuesday and you know there was a quarter moon the night before and there was a you know eastern wind blowing in and then we were on an outgoing tide you know i don't know i'm just making something up and this is what we caught this is what the conditions are like you know and i think by logging it i could create a good bank that i could go to in the future and say hey this is you know what we're going to be doing based on the conditions of this day right so i don't know just something i'm gonna play with now i don't know how good i'm gonna be at it but like anything it takes practice but i do want to get better i want to i want to be able to have something i can go to and just always 
you know, have a better shot, right? I don't, I don't like to guess, even though I love fishing and I love the idea of like, what could be on the other side of the pole? Um, I love more knowing that, hey, this is what I got on the other side of that rod, right? And targeting and just, you know, getting what you're looking for. So, um, sorry I kept you guys so long on an intro, but look at all that bait back there. Um, snappers and ballyhoo and pinfish, just everything you need to catch snapper. Um, but we're gonna have fun guys you know i think at the end of the day it really boils down to just having fun but i'm gonna just play around here a little bit see what we can get out and then just just sit here and watch so um i'll check back with you guys in a second let me let me get some of these baits up Big old fat ballyhoo, chunky boy, a little jellyfish, and another pinfish. That's all we need. All right, so I'm trolling a paddle tail here, right behind the boat, to see if we hook up on anything while we're headed back to a different spot. This was that other channel I was telling you about that it kind of cuts off on the flat here. You see how that brown is? It's about a foot and a half, two feet, maybe three. So if V's out up here, more flat all the way over there. But there's these pockets here that uh, to be quite honest, I just called the spot bait spot because a lot of bait, pinfish, ballyhoo, I mean obviously ballyhoo's everywhere here, but really nice sandy and grassy bottom where you can get the pinfish, straight shot out, call it a day, you know? Uh, let's see if we hook up anything on the troll while we're going straight out there. We're gonna go to a a sunken boat, and then I'm gonna wait for the tide to change a little bit, and then come back over here to see if we see any of the tarpon. I'll touch base with you guys in a second. Right here, you see? It just V's off here. Boom. I was on the right side. More pockets through there as well. All right, guys. So here, I'm just gonna pick up a couple snapper for dinner. There's a wreck right here, my buddy. Russ showed it to me and it's I don't know maybe 50 or 40 to 40 foot I don't know how big I just saw it coming over water's a little dirty here and about 20 feet of water so it's a little bit uh hard to see with the waves but when you ride over you can see it and it kind of runs that way so I'm gonna drop this big one here with a uh, one ounce weight I'm thinking I might need more the only problem is you got all these jet skis I might need more, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna put a live pit fish down there and just see what happens. And then I'm gonna use um, some cut bait for another one. I'll use some cut bait for, for you know, something else. I want him swimming down, so I hooked him right behind the head. Hopefully this is a heavy enough weight. I don't know. Try to get it over there, not, not, right on the wreck because if it goes down it goes in a wreck it's gonna get stuck you know um 
All right, there, hit the bottom. I'll leave that there. Something hits it. We'll know. And I got the chum bag down here. No bait. Something already hit it. Dang, already hit it. There it is. We're on, fish on that fast. That was a big strike on a big pinfish. So, yeah. You know, we'll find out. This is a big, big rod I use for tarpon. Big sharks on this tough. Find out. Don't. Oh, big jack. Oh, it's yellow jack, boys. Oh my God, good sushi. That's why we throw big baits. the best sushi right here boys the beautiful yellow jack amazing sushi all right let's see if we get one more we don't even need one more that's plenty gorgeous good eating we'll get them on ice quick so we wanted i was hoping for some snapper but you know what i'll take a beautiful yellow jack too on a big 7-0 circle hook gorgeous all right guys hey that was awesome catch i love it it's amazing he's in the cooler and uh all i did i put a, the biggest pinfish i had on a one ounce weight here on a 7-0 circle hook so got 60 pound fluorocarbon and i got I don't know, 40 pound braid. I use this on an esky rod here. And then I have it on um, a Pen Battle 6000 reel. So I mean, this is pretty beefy. I use it for some of those tarpon. Obviously none of the really monstrous tarpons, but um, you know, some of the bigger tarpon, you can pull up any, pretty much anything with this rod here. It's a very versatile rod. Um, I like the reel. Um, it makes it work, makes it happen. Very versatile, you can catch just about any fish on it, but I bring it when I want to catch some bigger fish. Um, and I'm gonna throw it on there one more time, see maybe we catch one more. Um, and that's dinner as by itself, I guess. It's uh, Yellow Jack is really good eating. But I'm gonna show you what I did again, I'm gonna do it again. Um, I was actually just setting this up to put my lighter rod out to see if we get in the tail end of that wreck, which is back over there. Um, but it didn't even give me a chance to set it down, you know, it just slammed it instantly. So I'm gonna get another big bait down there and we'll see what else we can pull out from the bottom. Well, that rod works up. I'm gonna get one of these ballyhoo, I'm gonna cut them up. I got three and one pinfish left, so I don't wanna, I'm gonna cut these in chunks, really. And um, chunk them up and see if I could uh, get a, a snapper too. I mean, I'm, I don't need a lot now because I got that sushi, but I do wanna get the snapper, you know, for the boys because they don't, they're not really big fan of sushi yet. Bigger chunks here. I just want quality, I don't want a, a whole lot of fish. Um, you want more, I want more quality than anything, so nice, decent chunks in the water, closer to the top. Let it sink down quick. See, we got a couple little snappers down there, you know. Oh, they're already taking the bait. We got a fish on. This is on a little 12 weight. A little snapper, most likely. Nice, 
pretty snapper here as well. Let's keep you going. Yeah, guys, so far it's been a really good day. Um, got to hit that, the spot where I think we're going to have good success with tarpon this year. Um, I'm also going to wait and hit it maybe in the evening time. But got some bait. We're able to uh, pull up a beautiful yellow jack. Sashimi, it's on tonight now. I'm excited because that's good eating. And then, you know, some snapper. But I'm going to ride around some more, guys, and uh, see what else we can find out there. I might uh, get one more snapper just, just to get one more and then uh, chill out on the fishing for now. Unless, you know, something extraordinary is going on. I got to bend the rod or I got to get in the, on the action. But right now, this is pretty much what I wanted to do was just uh, get out, go check out the spot and uh, just get it on a good low tide and just get a good glimpse of what we're looking at um, when we start coming in with, um, with some of the baits. The benefit of that spot is that there is a ton of pinfish down there, um, which is great because if there's bait, that means there's gonna be fish, right? So it's a good spot. There's grassy, sandy, grassy, sandy, some rocky, which is really great. Um, and some good structures. So I think that when we come in there and we set up, um, it's gonna be a really good spot for tarpon, you know, and there's only one way to find out is getting out there. And I think I wanna get it probably um, early in the morning, you know, like literally like probably be there already set up like at 6.30, just waiting for that sunrise. And then a good, another time on a sun, on a sunset. Um, and uh, we'll see, but other than that, I'm gonna ride around some more guys, see if we can get some more footage for you guys just to kind of be here with us, in spirit and in camera. I don't know you guys can see, but there's a ton of bait back there. A lot of ballyhoo, a lot of ballyhoo really. If I threw my nine foot net on there, I get like 20 ballyhoo, but then I get all that seaweed too. And I have a mess. We're gonna let them go though, cause I got two more ballyhoo and one more big pinfish. Um, and see, it'd be nice to finish up with a big fat grouper, right? Just a catch, you can't keep them out of season right now, but um, a nice big old grouper fight would be cool. We'll see. All right. Nice little yellowtail. Lost the little yellowtail. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's get it back down there. There's big bat. Oh, look at that big cruise ship over there. You see him? Way over there. Something has it. Got him. Feels like a yellowtail again. Whoa, what's that other big one down there? Something was right behind it. Chill out, buddy. Man, you guys do hook yourself. That was a big old fish trying to eat this one, and it was not a barracuda. Got another one. I gotta get this yellow tail back in the water. Oh. Come on, little guy, I don't want you to go down, I don't want you to die. Uh, come on, come on. I got one of your friends down here. You're pretty. Jeez, mangrove snapper for the win. Mangrove snapper for the win. Surprised not to slam that pinfish yet. Well, it's a pretty big one, so it's a waiting game with those bigger pinfish. Maybe I need to bring it on this side.
That's a big scream. I think he's a mad fish. That's a one mad fish. Really mad. Okay. Hopefully you don't have teeth. Take it easy. Oh, that's another yellow jack, looks like. Oh, no, that's a... Oh, it was a Zero Mac. Jeez, I know I should have had wire. Yep, that cost me. <sighs> that was a good fish. You can see how windy it got. Just goes to show you how the winds change so fast. Nothing on that pinfish yet. Got a bunch of snappers in between. Um, still have a guy in that that Cyril Mac. Can't believe he cut the line. Would have been nice to have him, at least to get him, you know, land him and put him back in, because we already have all the this is she me we need you know i might uh net some of these ballyhoo for uh future that's a good bait right there oh oh shit that's a grouper that's not a grouper i'm just kidding but it's a big fish oh, i'm busting them out on an ultra light rod There he goes. That's one big boy. This is gonna be a pain to get out. I don't think he's gonna, well, it's gonna be a long fight, you gotta take it easy. God, he's hooked. Good. Oh. oh, it's a big old manta ray. Look at this big old stingray. Oh. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, he's cooked good. That's that esky rod action. You can't do that on graphite. No, no, no. Graphite will put that hurt on. Ah. God, I got the other line. Why'd you have to take it? Why'd you have to eat it? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Fishing expedition of the day. What an incredible little rod, though. Crazy, isn't it? Told you, don't us underestimate light tackle. All right. Call it a day, you know? <laughs>